Moodle's Tiny MCE Text Editor has a tablets feature which can be turned on by your Moodle administrator. And this tablets feature, shown by this button here, references a series of learning template HTML content, which can be cho chosen from a drop down list and added to a topic. The benefit of this is it's, um, it provides an inbuilt topic learning design framework, which provides consistency across middle courses and can be customized by teachers. So they don't have to think about um, adding the structure to the topic themselves. They can just get on with the doing the, the learning design. So no, editing teachers can add to the um, course using the templates feature. But the learning templates feature also is of benefits to non-editing teachers. Non-editing teachers can use the learning templates feature anywhere um, that they have access to the Tiny MCE editor. For example, in the course forum, a non-editing teacher can augment core content created by the editing teacher using the learning templates feature. The learning templates feature uses something called Font Awesome, which is CSS font style. And with this, many, many different icons are available to teachers to bring into a course. So if I choose, say, FA Film, I, as a non editing teacher, and insert the learning template HTML, turn on the HTML in the editor, and then change the name of the icon that's referenced from the template to the one that I want, FA Film. In addition, the Font Awesome icons can be styled to suit the look and feel of your Moodle. Process can be repeated by the teacher to build for their learning sequence. If you think you'd like to see this type of learning templates feature integrated into the upcoming new Moodle 2.7 text editor, please vote in the Moodle tracker item as listed in the summary of this video. If you'd like your Moodle admin to configure TinyMCE to start using the templates feature now, you can give him the, fall, the given instructions that go with this video as well.